Hey everybody, it's Heather again from Story County Conservation on another video of What Would Heather Do? I, I have to admit, I knew that when we came up with this idea to connect with the community that it might happen. I might get asked to do what I've been asked to do, but I never thought for a moment I would be asked to do it by two different people, both of whom I considered my friends. But I did. I got asked, would Heather eat a worm? Yep, I will. But only because I did some research. And I discovered that the worm is, is kind of like an unknown superfood. I learned that worms supposedly have as much calcium as a, a piece of cheese the same size as the worm and that the amount of protein packed in that tiny little tube is quite, quite large, plus amino acids, which I had to Google what amino acids were good for, but they're good for all kinds of things. So it's healthy to eat a worm, but not a worm plucked out of the wild. I also discovered a lot of information about how just pulling a earthworm from the ground is a really good way to, to eat parasites and eat bacteria that you didn't know you were. And I really don't want to get worms from eating a worm. So would Heather eat a worm? As long as it's cooked. A lot. Oh my gosh, you can see its mouth. This is a, a genuine Canadian nightcrawler for all my Canadian friends. Apparently your worms are the best. And first I I tried to clean as much of what it had been eating out of its body. And then I boiled it for a really long time because that's how you get the mucus layer off. And then I baked it 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes, if you want to know. So it's going to be crunchy. I want to make sure that everybody knows it is not a good idea to pull an earthworm out of your backyard and eat it, no matter what your neighborhood kids double dog dare you to do. It, it's not safe. It's, it can be considered a survival food if you are in a situation where starvation might happen, um, but never should you ever just grab a worm off the ground and, and eat it without cooking it first. <laughs> Some other things I learned about the amazing earthworm is how helpful it is to the environment but what not many people know is that in Iowa anyway there are no native earthworms all of our native earthworms were wiped out 10,000 years ago when the glaciers scraped off the surface so the earthworms that we have in Iowa today have all been brought here granted a long time ago from Europe and Asia and they've well, they've thrived and, and the environments in Iowa have actually adapted to utilize them for helpful purposes, for aerating the soil, for keeping the soil more moist, for returning nutrients into the soil as earthworms are, are the decomposers in the food chain. They basically are the one link that connects it back to the very beginning. Um, and they're also an important part of that food chain as not just heathers eat earthworms, many, many animals love to eat them. Uh, I, I do want to point out this is not the, the first time I've eaten something that most folks wouldn't consider food. I have consumed mealworms on several occasions. I've also eaten crickets on several occasions, but all of which were, well, except for one, all of them except for one were actually farmed to be used as food. And around the world, earthworms are too. In some places on this earth, these are, these are seen to be just as important protein source as chicken. But those are the earthworms that they know what they've been eating and, and they know that they're safe. So before I do this, I do want to remind everybody watching that never should you pick up a worm from nature and eat it raw as it can carry bacteria and parasites and, and the fact that you don't know what it's been eating. Yes, it lives in the soil and yes, it eats um, broken down, dying plant matter, but 
it, it eats a whole lot more as it's traveling through the surface. So please don't, don't try this at home. I kind of feel special saying that. So here we go. I'm going to eat an earthworm now. I think I'm going to eat the tail of an earthworm now. <laughs> okay. Oh, the head's chewy. <laughs> it doesn't have a flavor. I'm not enjoying the texture. There it went. Hold on. I just ate an earthworm! Go! <laughs> I would love for you to, to post a picture or, or send a message about what shenanigans or fun adventures you've been having this, this summer season. Now that the weather is perfect for being outdoors, I, would, I just, I just want to connect with you even more and I want to see what you're doing to enjoy this time outdoors.